The customer's complaint. A problem with the telephone system. The symptom. The person on the other end of the telephone can't hear the driver. Go on a fault search with Star Diagnosis and the test adapter. With the different test steps, you'll find the fault in the telephone system. Connect the test adapter via USB to Star Diagnosis. The test adapter has a color LED light. If the adapter is not connected to an external power source, the LED will blink red. The test adapter initializes. The light turns yellow when the initialization is complete. Start the diagnostic application. Select Control Unit View. Open the command APS Control Unit and then confirm the safety tips. Click on Fault Codes Events and then check the fault codes. There are no fault codes saved. No fault is present. Now the real search begins. With controls, on the left side of the page, you get to the Test Adapter menu. Select Overall Procedures. As the customer uses the Comfort Telephony, click Test of the Comfort Telephony function. If the customer has left his mobile telephone adapter in the vehicle, it can be included in the tests. Select the appropriate menu item. Activate the Bluetooth function of the mobile phone adapter. The Bluetooth device is now being sought. The LED on the test adapter turns blue when the Bluetooth is enabled in the test fixture. Start the test series. Make sure that the Bluetooth phone adapter is still in the pairing mode. Confirm this and the test will continue. In the program, there's an audio test. You'll hear a sound file. Heard it? Then confirm. For the next audio test, you must create some sound. Clap your hands, for example. Then it should be heard. In this case, we didn't hear anything. The audio playback was not successful. Confirm with no. You've now recognized an audio problem. The fault could be the customer's mobile phone adapter or a vehicle component. Continue the search. The next step is to check the signal path between the test adapter and the vehicle. Connect the test adapter to the interface in the vehicle. Now the LED flash is yellow, that means that the test adapter is supplied by an external power source and is initializing. The LED turns green when the initialization was successful. Start the test series again. You'll see on the command display that the mobile phone is simulated. And again, there's an audio test with a sound sample. Continue with the playback test. This time too, the clapping was not registered. 
confirm the test result with no. As the audio problem occurs without the customer's mobile phone adapter, a vehicle component is probably the fault. In the next test, check the head unit alone without the vehicle's Bluetooth module. The test procedure is the same. Follow the menu navigation. The audio tests are a part of it. Same result. The clapping was not registered. Now you've narrowed down the problem. It's either the command or a connected component. We suspect that the microphone in the vehicle may be defective. Choose Test Vehicle Microphone. For this test you need to change the test setup and connect the microphone directly to the test adapter. Now you need a test case with the number on screen. Move the adapter cable number one and the connector cable from the case. In the overhead control panel, disconnect the connector for the microphone. And connect the adapter cable here. Connect the Y adapter cable with the 2.5mm jack of the test adapter. Then perform the last test in the vehicle. Create a noise again. The sound level should now be seen as a graph. No response. You found the fault, the vehicle microphone.